Time now for Focus and as we've been talking about, as the Greek government considers economic reforms that will bring in more revenue, it appears the most affluent people in Greece are the ones who are most worried. This report from our team on the ground. Hundreds of yachts wait for their wealthy owners in Athens Marina. Every weekend they drive up in their expensive cars. This group of friends is going away for the weekend on this boat that's 30 meters long and has eight cabins. We've been having Parisian weather. It's not very nice out. Not at all. Still going away for the weekend? We've been invited to Syros Island. The conversation ends there. These days, wealthy Greeks prefer to remain discreet. Lately, they've come under fire from Alexis Tsipras and his far-left government. For decades, Greek fortunes prospered far from prying eyes. Families like those of Stavros Niarchos and Aristotle Onassis were largely exempt from paying taxes. But since the left came to power, wealthy residents have kept a low profile. Some are even choosing to put their money in a safer place. In Athens' upper-crust neighborhoods, with their expensive cars, luxury stores and sprawling apartments, Miranda Xafa is a wealthy economist. She decided to place her fortune abroad with no regrets. I felt it was necessary to take out a part of my assets from the country because I don't trust this government. For me, putting my fortune into jeopardy isn't part of my patriotic duty. In any case, there are not enough wealthy people in Greece, and even if they were taxed more, it wouldn't be enough to fill the state's coffers. Since the start of the year, 35 million euros have been reportedly placed abroad. For now, though, Nikos Vernikos, a fourth-generation ship owner, refuses to follow suit. Lenient tax laws still allow him to give up just a fraction of his company's revenues, but other taxes have him fuming. Here in his private museum, it's his works of art that have caught the attention of the government. Notably, his contemporary pieces. The God of the Sea. Do they tax that? Since last year, all those who buy works of art must declare them. And there has to be a receipt because they're now considered as signs of wealth. Including hikes in art and real estate, taxes have reportedly gone up 10 percent on average for the wealthy these past few years. Nikos Vernikos refuses to accept the government's plans to extract even more money. If taxes go up even further, the result will be negative. It will be counterproductive because our revenues will go down further and it's bad for economic growth. On the island of Hydra, houses of wealthy ship-owning families stand overlooking stunning views. Local residents live largely off the struggling tourism sector and most of them are outraged at the attitude of their upper-class neighbors. I find it perfectly normal to tax the rich more, especially in Greece. It's the least they could do. They should remember which country they belong to, especially when we need them. In response, the government has promised new laws in the months to come, with in particular attacks on luxury products and high salaries. Now, for more on this story, I'm joined by Vasilis Monastirotis, a specialist on the Greek economy from the London School of Economics. Uh, Vasilis, uh, do we know anything about the details of what's been nutted out in these last-minute discussions? Um, well, we do not know uh, much. Uh, we have some indication about what's being discussed. The Greek government has been promising to raise uh, 
some money from increasing taxation, especially for from uh, high income earners and from big business businesses with high uh, profits. It was above one mi- one million euro uh, a week ago. Now it is above five hundred thousand uh, euros. But uh, uh, the uh, the institutions, the Europeans, actually want to see permanent uh, measures, measures with permanent effect, uh, mainly from. Uh, increasing the contributions to the pension system, reducing pension uh, uh, the volume of the sorry the size of pensions, uh, and also doing something with uh, wages more generally across the economy. Do you think they'll be able to actually reach a deal? It seems uh, unlikely that there will be a deal uh, today uh, from the information we're getting, but I think we are sl- slowly moving towards uh, convergence in, in the views, so we're closer to an agreement now than we were, I think, a couple of days ago. This is really, though, the moment of truth for the Greek government, isn't it? Uh, yes, although we've said that many times now, the moment of truth has been uh, moving uh, uh, day by day, week by week. Um, there's definitely, you know, the hard deadline of the end of June, where Greece has to pay the IMF uh, instalment uh, and also, of course, uh, the, the current extension of the programme and uh, there, but I think all the movements that we've seen the last few days uh, and this week with the meeting of the Eurogroup and the emergency European Council, it shows that there is definitely commitment by many players in Europe to keep Greece uh, in the Eurozone and to try to resolve the, the situation. And I think this is the, the positive message that we can get from, from today's events. Okay, so if a deal is not reached and the worst case scenario is played out, just how prepared is Athens for a Grexit? I think um, the government, uh, I, I would be surprised if it was very well prepared for that. I think also they're not, um, they don't plan to, to prepare for that because this is not part of, of the plan. Um, businesses, I think, uh, are being prepared not for a Grexit, but for the imposition of capital controls in case the agreement has not been, has not been reached. Um, between the imposition of capital controls and an actual Grexit, we're talking about uh, quite a long period of time. So we're probably talking uh, months. Uh, so, so there will be time to prepare. And of course, I don't think that. Uh, even the European institutions would let would let Greece on its own in trying to to deal with the with you know the implementation of the transition to a new currency. Uh, so this is a medium term uh, thing for which there is time for for preparation. But the immediate effect is, you know, if there's no agreement, whether there will be capital controls imposed on Greek banks. Vasilis uh, Monastirotis, we're going to have to leave it there. Thank you so much.